Hello everyone, it's Aster, bringing you another haul video. Today's haul is from the Dollar Tree. So, I watch a few YouTubers that, uh, they kind of specialize in showing off what they did at the Dollar Tree or, you know, what's coming from to the Dollar Tree and showing off new products and stuff and through them I usually find out about new things that come to Dollar Tree that I'm like, ooh, they've never had that. So one of these uh, that I follow actually posted that they had a bunch of these um, galvanized metal signs. They had all sorts of ones. They had plain ones. They had shaped ones. But they're all of these just made out of this standard galvanized metal. And um, the one that I really wanted was these metal bottle caps because I was like, you know, this would look great. Um, as like a new Bacola cap for anybody who plays Fallout. So I was thinking I could just paint this red and paint the new Bacola on it. Uh, I'm probably going to get rid of the hanger just because I don't need that so I'm just gonna prop it up. So I bought three of them so I was thinking new Bacola for this one. Um, Nuka-Cola Quantum for this one, and the last one, Sunset Sarsaparilla, if anybody's played Fallout New Vegas. So I got those as a project, and was super happy that they had them in stock. Another thing that I got from uh, Dollar Tree that I went specifically for was this over the door hook. Um, the one that this lady showed off in her video was different than this one, but I was still like, you know, I could still use this over the door hook. So I only bought one because I wanted to make sure it actually worked on my doors. Just, you know, can I still shut my door? That sort of thing. Because I actually don't have any towel hooks in my restroom, so yeah, having to put up towels, drape thing, drape the towel over something is kind of annoying. So I thought I'd get that and give it a try. And if it works, I could probably get some for other places, just like to hold things like. I don't know, extra clothes, or beds, or hats, or something. Yeah, useful stuff. And then this stuff is all things that I found on my own. I didn't know that, you know, I didn't know that these were out or anything. Uh, I didn't see them in a video, so yeah. First we have this really pretty, well, once I uh, do something to it, it'll look pretty, but it is a unicorn, a wooden unicorn, and I was thinking that would look so pretty if it was, it. I made it look like stained glass or something, so I'm not sure how to go about that. If I knew how to use resin, I'd fill it with resin, a stained glass resin look. I think that would look fabulous. I know I'd probably have to uh, seal up the wood somehow so the colors wouldn't seep in, but yeah, that would look really pretty. So I'm not sure how I'm going to go about doing the stained glass look, but if I figure out how, I'll put it on my Instagram. Uh, next up, we have uh, Colton Col Cutlery, the <laughs> cutlery set. Uh, it's 24 pieces. It's 
spoons, forks, and knives. And they're pretty pink sparkle glitters. I got them because they're pretty pink and glittery and stuff. Uh, plus, you know, having plastic forks and spoons is sometimes handy. <laughs> Next, uh, this was a last second buy. I was at the checkout and I looked over and I saw this and I was like, you know what, sure, why not? This is a coconut and lime scented hand sanitizer in a blue holder. Uh, I like coconut scented things, so I was like, sure. And it's 70% uh, alcohol, so I think that's as much as you actually need for fighting off uh, COVID. So, yeah. <laughs> Not that I don't have a ton of hand sanitizers, but I don't have any that are coconut and lime scented, so. Next we have some food, because I always have to get junk food. I got some Bunch of Crunch. Some mini Snickers, uh, some Lorna Dune. I've seen these and I've heard of these. I actually have a, a old cookbook from the 1950s. Or this might be 60s. That actually calls for these Lorna Dune um, shortbread cookies to use. I think it was to crush them up for the pie shell. I can't remember, but I was like, do they still make them? Yes, they do. So I've never tried the, them. They're shortbread cookies. Um, not much to say. I hope they're good. Then I got some toasted coconut macaroons. I love me some coconut macaroons. From the Dollar Tree, I'm not sure if they're going to be very good. Then I got some Reese's Miniature Cups, and these are with pretzels. I don't think I've ever had Reese's with pretzels. So. And then I got these strawberry-filled muffins. I got them because they don't have any high fructose corn syrup, and looking at the back, uh, it doesn't actually have milk in it. Uh, I'm lactose intolerant, so I try to limit milk and dairy stuff to like only chocolate and s sort of things. Although those shortbreads probably have butter in them, so yeah. Anyways, um, it says it may contain milk, but since it's not, it's in the may contain, I thought I'd risk it. So yeah, there's strawberry filled muffins. There's five in here. And it also says, try me hot. So the jam inside can burn my lips. <laughs> I think you have to be careful about how you're heating that up. So next we have some stickers. I got some Disney Tsum Tsum stickers. Uh, 96 stickers. I don't know if they're all going to be that same design or if there's different Tsum Tsums behind here or not, but yeah. Next, I got some like holographic uh, food or sweets themed uh, stickers. We got cool, wow, sweet, and yes. I think these are for like teachers for grading and stuff, but since it doesn't say like A plus or you know stuff like that, I thought I'd get them. Plus they're food related. Next we have some holographic stickers. Uh, these ones are really interesting. They're like fairies and pitsies and I don't know goblins or something? They're just like odd characters, like fantasy characters. They I don't recognize them so they're not like an actual known character I don't think. I think it's just 
you know, random characters that they made up. But, uh, yeah, it's really cute. These are from Jot. Uh, so if you were wondering how to get these, look for the Jot ones. They're really cute. Next, we have some also laser or holographic Jot stickers. And these are, uh, like, fantasy creatures, again. Uh... <laughs> Unicorn Pud, Unicorns, Alicorns, Alpaca Unicorns, uh, Cat Mermaids, just some weird creatures. Uh, also, Unicorn Donuts. <laughs> so I had to get it because unicorns. And we have this Tropical Escape uh, coloring book. I thought it was pretty and I kind of looked, flipped through it and the designs were really pretty so I was like, you know what, sure. Like that, that's really pretty. And, the, you know, this might be limited to people who actually watch this YouTube series or, well, it's... It is YouTube series, and it's also uh, on World of Wonder, I believe. But uh, Rainbow Color Fan, Thwarp, <laughs> if anybody knows that reference. But yeah, I was like, I have to have it as a Rainbow Fan. <laughs> uh, um, so, yeah. They have a bunch of these uh, cheapy fans so and when I saw the rainbow one I was like must have so I grabbed it the other ones were kind of like froofy lacy stuff that I wasn't interested in but I was super interested in getting that next up we have a book the age of light a novel And this one is, it tells the story of a Vogue model turned renowned photographer, Lee Miller, in her search to forge a new identity as an artist after spending, after a life spent as a muse. And it takes place, let's see, in Paris, uh, 1929, and it looks like it goes through to World War II. So that's why I got it, because it, uh, World War II, so I was thinking, oh, that might be interesting. I like novels about World War II. Uh, not war novels, like, from the soldiers or perception, but, like, novels from like the people that they left behind like the women and the children and stuff and uh particularly ones that are from the like jewish view or like the polish or the gay view or you know the people that actually went into the concentration camps i like to get their view instead of you know like an american woman's view although i have a few novels that are from the American woman's view. Anyways, so now we get to the best part of my find. <laughs> the most exciting stuff. So, these little guys. Uh, <laughs> okay, just, you know, fall everywhere. Um, so I had a heck of a time trying to find these. Again, fall everywhere. Uh, these figures. So they are Masters of the Universe, and there's five of them, and I got all five. Uh, I believe there's only five in the set. But uh, they're li officially licensed from Mattel, and they're small. Uh, so I got He-Man, Skeletor, Man at Arms, uh, 
Orto, I'm not sure how you pronounce that one's name, and uh, Merman. So these are from M Mattel and Micro Collection. Did you see that? Um, if you're wondering who makes them. Um, there's not a lot of information on the back of who made some. It's just kind of on the front, the branding. But yeah, uh, check your Dollar Trees. I really had to dig. So what ended up happening was there was a bunch of... It was either Merman or... I think it was Man at Arms. There was a bunch of Man at Arms. I think there was a few of the He-Man. And like two more of the Skeletor, but, um, let's see, the Merman was the only one, and, uh, Orko was the only one, too. Uh, so, the Orko one is damaged a little bit on the card. Uh, the other ones kind of have just a few scuffs and stuff, but that one's more damaged than the rest. But it was the last one, so I just had to uh, take what I could get. But yeah, totally check your Dollar Trees and dig. I mean, really dig. Because at least with my Dollar Trees, the toy department is... I don't think they... I think they kind of give up on the toy department because they know parents let the kids like run loose through those through that area and just, you know, tear things apart, which is unfortunate. But yeah, these things were buried deep um, I, under a bunch of just scattered other toys, like troll things and stuff. And yeah, so look everywhere, dig, um, look at the hanging pegs, of course. Uh, that's actually how I first knew that these were a thing is because I saw Skeletor on one of those hanging pegs, um, you know, still on the peg thing, um, but the rest I, I had a dip for. <laughs> so, now we come to the Blu-rays. So we got uh, Dark Was the Night, kind of a weird... Uh, looking movie because it looks like it's Dark Knight, you know, Batman. Um, yeah, it's kind of weird sounding. There's an unwritten rule in families that no two people can go crazy at the same time. So when Margaret, who's always been in control of her life, falls apart after the unexpected loss of her husband, her teenage son, Marcus, is forced to stomach his own grief and become the man of the house. After hitting bottom, Margaret scrambles to find the strength to be a mother again, following Marcus into the deep woods where he has gone to seek solace. Out of their comfort zone, in the middle of nowhere, mother and son begin to find a way forward. The way that... I mean... Okay. Kind of grim, gritty... There's cops, there's broken glass, there's a guy holding a baseball bat on the back. More broken glass. Uh, there's a woman with a freaking chainsaw. You'd think horror, but reading this, it sounds like it's a drama. I don't know what this movie is supposed to be, to be honest. So I kind of got it because I was like, what is this movie? Uh... Next we have this one that looks like it's going to be really funny. Uh, Nature Calls. Manhood. It's the only badge that matters. It's got Johnny Knoxville and um, uh, Patrick Patrice O'Neill. Is that that guy? I can't. I don't know that guy's name. But I, I definitely know who Johnny Knoxville is. I love Johnny Knoxville. But I also like that guy, so this looks like it's going to be a really funny movie. Um, yeah. <laughs> so, 
looking forward to watching that one. This was cool. So I first found this as just the normal Blu-ray, you know, uh, it didn't have anything special about it. Uh, it says the Ultimate Undead Edition though, so I found it like that. But as I started to dig through, I actually ended up finding it like this, a lenticular sleeve. So I was like, hell yeah, I'm getting the lenticular. So this is um, George A. Romero's Roma, Roma, um, Survival of the Dead. Lenticular. Um, I don't think I've watched this one. It's one of the newer ones, yeah. The newest film. Pits up where Diary of the Dead leaves off. I don't think I've watched Diary of the Dead either. I'm more familiar with like the older ones. But uh, yeah, I mean, his movies are usually really good zombie movies. So looking forward to that one. And then we got Centurion. This one sounds weird. So it sounds like, you know, dramatic and battle heavy and history is written in blood and all that stuff but on the back it says heroic fearsome funny fateful and oh so brutal uh from the los angeles times and enthusiastically gory <laughs> so again it's one of those movies where i'm not sure if it's supposed to be funny is it supposed to be dramatic have no idea. Uh, next we have another weird one. Um, Sushi Girl. So I got it because the front reminds me of like um, uh, Tarantino type stuff. And so the I was reading the back and it's it sounds super weird. Okay. I'll read some of the back. It sounds very weird. Fish has spent six years in jail, six years alone, six years keeping his mouth shut about the robbery and about the other men involved. The night he is released, the four men he protected with silence celebrate his freedom with a congratulatory dinner. The meal is a lavish array of sushi served off the naked body of a beautiful young woman. The sushi girl seems catatonic, trained to ignore everything in the room, even if things become dangerous. Sure enough, the four unwieldy thieves can't help but open old wounds in an attempt to find their missing loot. Yeah, so it sounds freaky. Got it, because it sounds freaky. Uh, next we have Mission of Honor. Uh, World War II movie. It uh, looks like they're uh, flyers. Yes, we got uh, Skin Trade, and it's got Dolph Lundgren in it, so I grabbed it because that looked like it was an action movie. Uh, um, it, they say it's a martial arts action thriller. Next, I got Tad, The Lost Explorer. kind of looks like a generic animated movie, so I was like... For a dollar, I'll get it. And, and again, <laughs> generic animated movie. I think it's supposed to be like Shark Tale and Finding Nemo and stuff. Um, interestingly enough, it's got Fran Drescher, uh, the nanny, in it, and Rob Schneider. So, and it apparently won an award. So I don't know how good this is going to be, if it's going to be good at all. Another weird one. You get some weird movies in Dollar Tree. Uh, God Bless America. Taking out the trash one jerk at a time. Okay, so I gotta read the back one for this. Okay. Frank has had enough of the downward spiral of American culture. 
Divorced, recently fired, and possibly terminally ill, Frank feels he has nothing left to live for. However, instead of taking his own life, he embarks on a killing spree with cohort Roxy, who shares his sense of rage and di disenfranchisement. Okay. And together they launch a nationwide assault on the country's dumbest, most irritating celebrities. How was that made into a movie with all of the massive shootings America has? How was that made into a movie? <laughs> That's going to be a really weird one. Um, next we have Coalition, inspired by actual events when the players get played, Revenge is so sweet. It kind of looks like a really generic movie. Um, I kind of just got it as a whim because it, the premise kind of sounds familiar or not familiar it sounds good because uh the women get cheated on and they go and get revenge but there's a twist I, yeah uh this one i was really surprised it was at uh the dollar tree but i was happy that it was it's a blitz it's got jason statham in, on in it um I really liked this movie, and I really love Jason Statham. Um, it's not his best, but I really do like anything with Jason Statham in it. And last up, unfortunately I already have this. I didn't know that. So I'm going to see if mine has a slipcover or not, and uh, keep the slipcover for my copy, or get rid of my copy and keep this copy. I don't know. But it's, uh, chips. So, yeah. Oh well. So that is it. Um, not a huge haul, but a pretty good haul. I uh, got a stack of Blu-rays. I got a bunch of He-Man figures. Pride fan. And just a bunch of great little trinkets and surprises. So, that is it. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next one.